panic, tension, fear is the atmosphere painted in Kumba this morning, the 9th of December 2016. The city takes this mood when bike riders went on street with placards carrying different messages. To them, the fight is not only for the people in Bamenda. Everywhere is closed. Roads are blocked by bike riders. Elements of the armed force are patrolling this vicinity. But this doesn't stop the people of Kumba, though from different walks of life, from expressing their minds about the anglophone problem which they acknowledge exists. Journalists, teachers, politicians and more. As early as 7 a.m. this morning, I myself was taken aback when uh, around the town we went about, I saw more than 200 bike riders who had gathered and uh, the police van was actually uh, standing nearby. And the bike riders does have a good number of grievances. The very first one I picked was that they were saying that stop killing our brothers. We, we want to say no to modernization. The president Bia must go. And uh, in addition to that, they were complaining of bad road, uh, the poor standard of living. The most recent issue is the fact that they are asking teachers who have already been trained to go back, inscribe, and write another in uh, uh, exam for them to be integrated. I think this is ridiculous for a teacher who has already been uh, trained, a teacher who is already teaching, uh, and they ask all the teachers who have, at, who have served at least five years to go and register and write an exam. Can you imagine all the teachers in the whole Republic of Cameroon? It is ridiculous. It is an insult to uh, uh, the profession, and we think that it is not right, and that the situation should be reversed. This is not a political issue. It is a problem of the anglophones. Anglophone problem remains an anglophone problem. But as a political leader, it is my duty. I left my house at 5.30. I've not eaten as I'm speaking to you, struggling to make sure that there is peace. We have a problem. It has to be looked into. I am very much worried in the, on the fact that the government of our country is like they don't, they don't have a listening ear to those who are raising issues that are burning in their hearts. Despite the moving up and down of the Prime Minister of this country, my question is, where is the head of state? Where is the head of state and his presidency? Because this is where we're expecting to hear a word that the presidency is discharging a delegation to meet with these various people who are demanding for certain rights, like the teachers and the lawyers. Does these people believe the anglophones are being marginalized more as seen in situations like the sit-down strike organized by anglophone lawyers and teachers. The government with majority francophones has taken no concrete solutions to the problems of these two groups of people in the north and southwest regions.